Hey guys, let's talk about Egyptian language. The Egyptian language wasn't always all hieroglyphics and smiley faces and stick birds. They had a proud written tradition that kind of went by the wayside after they invented their pictograph language. Their written tradition, they wrote sacred texts, they wrote histories, they wrote instruction manuals on how to build things like pyramids and shit. And then all of a sudden, one day, some asshole comes along with the very first hieroglyphic. And things started to go for shit right after that. It's sad. It really is. That first hieroglyph, and they just caught on like wildfire. The government would issue new sets of hieroglyphs every once in a while. People would continue to use them. They'd get clever with them. They'd use a little owl and a bee and a hourglass when they were going to be a couple, couple of days late for a circumcision or something like that. And, and it's all because some son of an Egyptian slave brought in that first emoji. And then only the smart people started using the, emo started using the written language. And they tried but they were just outnumbered, so finally they just left. We know what happened to them. They went off and they made diamond cutting factories and bagel factories all over the world. That just left the zombie emojis back in Egypt. And they couldn't read the instruction manuals on how to maintain the equipment. And it's all because one guy couldn't get it together enough to be creative, use his language and his words to send a love letter to his girlfriend that hot slave girl down the Euphrates. He had to send her a picture of his snake. I don't know. We're going back to the Stone Age, guys. And we're doing it with a grinning smiley face. Freak out.